this game, you saw Lenny doing what Lenny does for for forever. We've been everybody telling you, well, Rashad White's coming, and it's like, well, he really isn't. And then he came. He came. He came first, last, and you know, it was a it was a good good showing by by Rashad, but it was. Not because he usurped Lenny. It was because Lenny left the game. It was Well, uh, no. He White did started the game. White, White did the game. start the game. But then Lenny it was, didn't come into the second but series. Then, but then it was, okay. And then it was the Lenny show from there on out. And then Lenny got hurt. And it was like, oh, maybe they're just giving White some run. And then it was, oh, Lenny's on the side with the ice pack on his fucking groin on his hip. Um, not... That being said, Rashad White was very good um, in his relief duty here. 22 carries for 105 yards. Um, I can't imagine he's on any redraft waiver wires. I picked uh, him up last currently. week, actually. That's the way to play it. Um, just you should always be, you know, churning some high got high high value guys if something happens the week before, so they're not on the wire. Burn somebody who's just been weighing you down on the end of that roster, and you know, picked up Christian Watson a few weeks ago on on a bunch of redraft mm-hmm. teams. Um, and just been kind of sitting on that because, you know, if, you, if you've been watching, we've been kind of said like, hey, I know he's been hurt and banged up, but the couple of times he has been out there, he's, he's, he's been showing some flashes and he's dirt cheap. Go get him. Um, and now now the blow up. So but Rashad White, same kind of way. I don't know if he ever really got as cheap as Christian Watson got. Um, There's probably uh, still some no. people holding out hope. A yeah, little bit sure. more than than White than than Watson rather. But uh, nice showing from uh from Rashad there um, actually you know thought that maybe you would see a little bit more in the passing game but you really didn't see any catches from Rashad White um, and then Vaughn came in for a minute and he actually looked pretty decent um, so uh, well done by the uh, the Bucks O-line there and 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 the running backs but Rashad White um, you know Tommy getting divorced and maybe losing a decent amount of money um, <laughs> he's fine. I think he's fine. I'm just uh, that's not what I'm he's saying. He's also got a 35 million dollar year contract waiting for him at Fox. He does. That's that was my what I'm saying is this is all in the good case for Rashad White. If for the, Tommy the, coming back, right? If to, Tommy did not look in any way, shape, or form for the first few games, like he wanted to be there, like he was coming back. Well, any clearly of he was that. dealing with some personal personal I, stuff I, going on. Obviously, obviously, but now, now he's a divorcee, and <laughs> shape it how you want it. I mean, he did lose a size, supposedly lost a sizable amount of money um, in a bad investment deal here. Um, what with Giselle? With Giselle, they had a lot of no. They had a lot of money tied up in a. You guys are not up on this. Uh-uh. No, I didn't okay. see this. Well, we'll skip that uh, for now. Oh, and please, you can, you can do please. your own own research. I don't know the ins and the outs, but it's allegedly he lost a decent amount of money in a crypto uh, uh, kind of. No, you deal. don't say. Um, there's maybe some other back doors and other things that that protect him a little bit, and maybe he didn't quite lose as much as people are saying. And I don't know the ins and the outs of it. I'm just speaking from what I've taken in on the surface level. Uh, but what I was saying was that's all good things possibly leading for Rashad White. That being said, Rashad looked plenty good on his own without having to necessarily have an elite offense around him to to be uh, usable and, and a formidable player here. So that's, you know, I, I liked what I saw there. And I, I liked what I saw in Rashad White's little bits and pieces that we had seen from him. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know. Lenny's Lenny was their incumbent. Lenny's the guy who keeps Rashad from being out there and doing work. And and now Rashad has has gotten out there and done some work. Going to be um, interesting to see. You know, they said Lenny probably be back after the bye. Um, yeah, Schefter and, reports he probably won't miss any time. Right. So you know, it'd be interesting to see. Maybe hey, maybe we split it up on the next game. But we haven't quite seen that with Lenny healthy yet. So monitor that moving forward. What what. What do we think about Rashad White moving forward? I mean, obviously, probably not the game to try to go by him, but, you know, I know we kind of, nobody was super duper high on Rashad White in this room. It wasn't against Rashad White. It was just more against the situation for me. Um, but definitely starting to feel more and more comfortable with the situation I mean, people, moving forward. People were taking him in the first round, you know. At I the couldn't, end. Couldn't do that. Yeah. I mean, I was I would have taken him over James Cook. I would have taken Cook over over Rashad. Yeah, 
I felt I, I did. I think in one spot that White had more rushing upside than Cook did. I I think that's fair. It's just yeah, that's that's fair enough. I mean, he's he's probably had more receiving upside than than Cook did too. I mean, I, quite honestly, if you you know, it was, it was odd if that you, Cook got so much you know accreditation for yeah. how good of a receiver he was. But I think that was really what was propping. Rashad White up was the receiving ability and and warranted. I mean, he was he was a, a very good player, albeit late in his college career. Simmons uh, being is old, pretty old, um, but didn't seem to get docked right. too much for that. Um, so, what would be a price tag that you would you would you pay two twos for Rashad White right now? I mean, it seems fair, but it just seems like it's probably not enough of an overpay to be able to try to probably swing swing the white owner to be able to make that deal. I would pay two twos, yeah. You're saying you don't think it would work? I think I'd consider it. It'd have to be the right situation. I don't, so you're I don't, thinking that Tommy's coming back next year? I thought that him and Rodgers were both probably out next year. It didn't look good. The optics for the Couple first half of the later season. And but, I mean... Rodgers looked like he was a little spicy this week. Mm-hmm. Um, George likes his chicken spicy. George likes his chicken spicy. Um, Tommy looks like, you know, he's he's been uh, you know, they're, they're maybe getting Ryan Jensen back here, which would be huge for that team. That O-line has just been ravaged as well. You know, the Packers are now ravaged with injuries as well. Um, so that doesn't make it easy on a veteran. But there's so many good pieces around in this offense. And, and you know, just add in Rashad White, Lenny, you know, Godwin on the up and up here, seemingly really, yeah. really coming back into form here. Mike Evans, steady Eddie. Um, Julio even had a pretty good, pretty Juli- good game. Right. Julio looked good. Otten had looked good in some spots. Brait's back. Um, so, you know, they are they got quite the cast of characters. That offensive line has just been the, the, the big problem right now. And, you know, didn't seem terrible this week. And, and the running game was the best it had been. And, you know. I don't know if it would have been quite as good with Lenny. It's no way of telling, but Rashad White uh, really did his thing, 22-105, um, and, and looked looked really good and had one of those. Um, now, maybe because it wasn't – maybe some people missed it, but he did – I saw clips on Twitter afterwards, but he did have one of those runs that really gets – seems to catapult people into was that, that run in the fourth quarter uh, uh yeah the one where he's threw uh i forget who it was down to the ground th- th- those are get seemingly for whatever reason get the public hype even more uh churning so i think you're probably right in the assumption that you, especially you know, when that's the only game on yeah, yeah but i don't know i feel like sometimes those earlier games maybe don't quite get as much public attention as as i think they do just fine oh i'm sure they do just fine i'm just saying it's not like the packers uh, Cowboys. Cowboys game at 425. You know what I mean? Sure. The game of the week or whatever. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. But I don't think Rashad White is is capable. I don't, I don't know that you'll get him for two twos at this point from most people unless it was a, a rebuilding team this year that, that maybe got decent value on him and they're they're still not feeling it and maybe maybe could rebound once again. But I think two twos would probably be what I'd be willing to pay. Maybe, maybe an old, a little bit older, cruddier running back in a two if I could. Um, would you move Singletary and a two for Rashad White? I think I think I think I would. Singletary coming up on free agency. I think he's a good player. Just had a, doesn't had get, a good week. This doesn't week. get the run that he he needs. Has any running back really run. needs. He has been you know decent. I don't know. I feel like you're paying three twos. I feel like you're paying. I feel like Singletary is worth. More than a single is he two. Worth more than a single. Is it? Is he worth to some more than people, a second? To some people, absolutely not. Um, but to, to some people who are trying to win right now, I don't know that you know. Yeah, you know what? Give me the give me the younger guy and a, give me the younger guy. I, I, I think single Jason's Terry right. and a two to move on. Yeah, to move to Rashad. Yeah, I'll All take right, the I, three I years that. younger. But you're get, you're about to get uh, old motor on a on a fresh contract somewhere else and really really could blow up. But you're getting the the motor reset. that's single Terry. Yeah, yeah that's his nickname. Um, you're getting two, two you're getting, years older than White, right? Rashad's old. It's coming in. Um, nobody seems to care about that though. Yeah. Um, so, all right. Well, let's keep it Hold moving on. here. What do you got? Khalil Herbert or Rashad? Oh, White? Herbert. Yeah, I'll take Herbert. That easily. Straight up. Yeah. I think I'll take Herbert. I don't know. 
I just I feel better about like a lot of the situation moving forward because Fields will be there. Just, yeah, just that it's Fields. He's locked in for a little while. Montgomery's probably out of there. Like Lenny could be there for a whole nother year. And if Tommy's back really muddy in the situation up a little bit, Rashad looks plenty good and capable. He's good in the receiving game. Um, but I'm pretty sure Lenny signed like a three year deal this offseason with, a, with an with with an option out stall for another 10 seconds. Um, so it, it, it just, you know, it could be not quite as good. And Herbert could really be now right now, you know, as far as what's going on, it, like the running backs in general in Chicago don't feel all that useful right now because Fields is doing so much on the ground like he's yeah. so much of that offense right now that it feels like those running backs are almost playing second fiddle but I feel like as we maybe settle in and move forward with this offense that you know it's not going to stay like that forever they're crushing rushing yards because he's having to do all that magic on his own and right in spite of the offensive line and in spite of play calling it's not like they're lining up and just smashing the rushing attack in people's face it's him fucking i mean they had they have it in certain people. games with him and montgomery and a little bit of fields but now re these last couple of games where they've been scoring more points it seems like it's been a whole lot more fields running around and the running backs haven't been really producing at a, as high of a clip as you like but i think that that has you know i i just i think as this offense grows and matures and moves forward and we get into next year i you know i don't think you want to put fields in that position of you know, if it, if it turns it into more of a, we need it to be more of a Ravens than a Bills situation, yeah. as far as what the quarterbacks do and 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 how and, and you know, not scared to actually run the ball and just use the quarterback as the running back. If that's the, if it stays like it is, then I would take Rashad. But I, I think we'll we'll move forward and and mature as and the offense will will grow into something a little bit more conventional money will um, definitely be out of there and they're going to give her I, the, I would assume the job. That, that money's out of yeah there. i would like assume I, so I, too i can't imagine they're going to want to pay montgomery like they got because the, that's a pretty forward thinking move to move like rashad for khalil i don't know that i would necessarily go out trying to make that move if but if you're giving me either Option. either um i bet you could get a little i bet you could get a little bit on top of herbert her on top of herbert i i, I think you could get uh, Herbert plus for Rashad. Yeah, and um, Lenny's probably there for another year. He's got five million of dead cap. Right. So. What about Brian Robinson? We're watching this Washington game. I'll take both of them over Brian Robinson. Agreed. Over Brian Robinson. Yeah, Grab again, Gibson there. He's not going anywhere next year. Well, he might be injured. Might, might have an ankle injury right now, but <laughs> Jesus. Um, but. I mean, not also not really going anywhere. Most likely, you know, we'll see what happens moving forward. But I, I, I right now would take both of them over B Rob. Yeah, I would too. They both have a little bit more juice than B Rob. But if you hadn't, like, I scooped up Julio Jones in a couple of waiver wire situations and stashed him uh, this last week, and so he could be a guy that could be a nice pickup for you if you haven't, and you maybe don't waste the claim, but. Um, he looked like he was he was back, and Tom just looks like a little more refreshed. And they got the running game going, man. That's just a, a big. They've been leaning, having to lean on Tom so much these last uh, couple of weeks, and and the running game got uh, kind of moving here. So yeah, um, good on them. 